To solve this problem, I would start by moving the 343 over. So that would give us y cubed plus 343 equals 0. Now from here, you can solve it using the um, graphing technique. So you can graph this, find a real 0, and then divide. Or you could factor uh, using the sum of cubes factoring formula. If I have a cubed plus b cubed, that's a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. <clears throat> I'm going to do the factoring technique, um, but you'll find the same answers if you do the, the finding the real zero and dividing. This is the quantity y cubed. So in our formula, a is equal to y. 400, I'm sorry, 343 is the same as 7 cubed. So in my formula, b is equal to 7. If I put this together, y cubed plus 343 factors into y plus 7 times y squared minus 7y plus 49. And all of that is equal to 0. Okay. So here I've got the y plus 7 equals 0. Over here, y squared minus 7y plus 49 equals 0. This one we get y equals negative 7. All right, that's what we expected to get. Or I guess maybe not expected, but that's the same thing that we would have gotten if we had graphed. Over here, we want to use the quadratic formula. So let's do it in green. Using the quadratic formula, y equals negative negative 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 times 49 all over uh, 2 times 1. So this will give us y equals 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus, it looks like 196, all over 2. Okay, so y equals 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 140, whoops, 147 over 2, 7 plus or minus the square root of 147i over 2. All right, and if I recall correctly, 147 is the same as 49 times 3. So this is 7 plus or minus 7 root 3 over 2 with an i here. So all of your zeros, we've got negative 7, then 7 halves plus 7 root 3 over 2i, and 7 halves minus 7 root 3 over 2i. All right, I hope that helps.